Hey, I'm gonna be doing a, a coronavirus grocery haul. I've never actually done a grocery haul video before, and I wasn't going to this time, but okay, I started grocery shopping before the before it got crazy, right? And I was like, well, um, by the second day, because I, I don't know, sometimes it takes me two days, I go to several stores and try to get the best deals, okay? So the first day I went, I went with my daughter, she drove me, and we went to um, a, I don't know, a cheap store we know of. And um, the second day I went by myself. But anyway, so I threw some in the freezer, and then I threw some in the freezer last night too, so I didn't think about filming it till today. Anyway, point is, um, most of it I got before it got crazy. But I'm glad I did. Yay. So, uh, but the thing is, the, um, it's a little frozen. Some of it, some of it was frozen when I bought it. That's just how it is at that store. And some of it is just because I stuck it in the freezer. I have two, three, I have four freezers really, but I have two deep freezers. But, um, i am start with the... I think with the water. And I buy this. This was before it got crazy. I buy this water every month no matter what. Because it's just easy to grab. Take with you when you're taking and going to appointments or whatever. It's easy to grab. So I literally grabbed two extra this time. Because last time we ran out. Um, we ran out about two weeks. But the week left or two weeks left. Anyway, I thought one more or two more would help. So I get two more. When I bought two more, I didn't know all this was going on, because we don't have TV in our house. But I didn't know all this was going on, and I was, uh, people were looking at me like I was, like, I was crazy maybe, or like maybe I'd do something, and start buying water too, but it's sunk, you know, do you, do you. So, I took and, um, got the water before, it got crazy. And I'm going to start with that, and then just go around the table, because it's a lot. I'm not even sure if it's everything, but I think it's pretty much everything. And, um, uh, oh, this is Cassie, by the way. So, I'm going to start here. Wait, let me reverse the camera. That's not reversing the camera. I don't know how to. Hmm. I'm going to have to pause it and start. Hmm. How do you reverse the camera? Flip, flip. Anyway, I'm going to have to pause it. So, we start out with bottled water, okay? We got 10 packs. We always get 8. We didn't get 10 because of coronavirus. We got 10 because last month we ran out before the month was over. So I got two more. When I was picking it up, though, I mean, I knew the coronavirus was a thing, but it wasn't, what do you call it, kind of getting crazy yet. Um, <clears throat> the announcement hadn't been made, I guess, is what. And the kids were still, they weren't in school. They were in spring break, but they were going to be in school. So I hadn't got crazy yet. But the uh, people were looking at me like I was crazy when I was getting that much water. But I always do every month. And they were like, looking at me like I knew something. And everybody started buying water when I did. But, you know, that's okay. It's cheap there. It's like a dollar ninety nine, or $1.98 or something. But anyway, we bought diapers online, Target. We didn't buy them at Target. I thought Google.com or something. But anyway, got all the water. Let's see what we got here. And then I got all this food. So, I had already put some in the freezer. In fact, this chicken came frozen from the store. But, um, sometimes I buy stuff that's frozen already. But, um, and just a good deal, though. Oh, my gosh. So, the coffee, I wouldn't normally buy two packs, right? But this time, this time, I'll lift this up. It was on sale for eighteen sixty nine. So, I got two packs of coffee. Because, you know, we use coffee. Then I got six dozen, what, six, yeah, six dozen eggs. I always get six dozen eggs or more. But this time, I just got six dozen. Toilet paper, um, Jazzy went out and bought some, and I went out and bought some um, because we were out of toilet paper. And so, you know, we just happened to, uh, both of us go out and get it the same day, and it is what it is. But, you know, we'll use it. I'm thinking that's really good because I couldn't get Sam's Club to get the toilet paper I normally get. That's why we also have Target diapers because we couldn't get Sam's Club right away. Anyway, we um, got this fruit. There's all different bags of fruit. But I put them all in the little basket. I think it's cute. I should put that back up now. But okay. I got two loaves of bread. Onions already open because we had tacos tonight. Potatoes are open because I thought somebody would want one. And I haven't used them yet, but they're open. But anyway, they were like a dollar fifty a pack for both of those. I should have got more potatoes, but you know, it's okay. Then we got taco shells because I always get like two packs of taco shells for 99 cents. And I got burritos, well, not, not burritos, that's um, bagels. And the bagels were $1.50 a pack, which is really great, I think. The uh, red beans, 
I got two packs from two different stores because I found them for two different prices. Um, I got pizza, you know, because 10 year olds. I got the um, ramen because sometimes the kids will eat them, sometimes they won't. If they don't, it's just, you know, they'll stay shelf stable. Toaster Pop Tarts. I never get those. Toaster pastries, whatever they're called. Or waffles. I never get those, but I got those because, I don't know, I just seen them. And did. I, met, I was probably hungry when I was at the store. Corn dogs because they specifically asked for them. Okay. These two sausages packs, Country Best Sausage, they were on sale. So I got two packs instead of just one. I usually just get one, if at all. I got five pounds of flipping chicken tenders because it was a great deal. It was like five dollars for five pounds. It's a dollar pound. I like that. I should get two. Um, sausage, smoked sausage. I got two of those because you know red beans goes with that. I bought a whole bunch of the sausage eight packs because they were under a dollar a pack. And it's um, let's see how much is in there. Twelve ounces. So anyway, under a dollar pack, and I know that kind of sausage is good, so I got it. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Okay. The chicken was frozen when I bought it. Also, some of this is frozen because I stuck it in the freezer uh, last night. Some of it didn't freeze. Some of it did. This, before I get chicken, sorry. This is a pork roast. It's $6. $6.45. And what is it per pound? 89 cents per pound. Okay. Which is a great deal. So I bought one because I want to make carne asadas. I put it at the bottom of the freezer, it froze really fast. You can tell it's light it was laid on something. It's bone in, don't matter. But um anyway, all this chicken. I normally don't buy this much chicken, but when it's on sale, I totally do. So I hadn't seen it on sale for I don't know, a couple of two or three months. Usually it does go on sale every three months. But see this was a dollar forty nine. A lot of these were a dollar something. And I bought as many as I could for a dollar something a pack. So, like, we will have chicken for months now. Instead of just having to go out and get it um, every single month, which it won't be on sale next month, I will already have it. Yay. Now, I bought all these veggies, because I always do. If they, Especially if they don't have a lot of canned food. This time, the store, see, I only bought a little bit of canned food. They were out. By the time I got to Walmart, it had gotten crazy, and they were out. Let me see, did I go to Walmart today or yesterday? I don't know, but today is Saturday, and I went to Walmart either today or yesterday, and if I went yesterday, it was at the end of the day, so it was already, all the camping was gone, most of everything, but um, I also bought two uh, tomato sauces, what do you call it, spaghetti sauce, because I like to make these pizza things, and I use that for that. Okay, this is just honey. Um, peanut butter is only 98 cents. I like that. So, that was a good deal. I don't, I'm allergic to peanut butter, but, you know, other people. And, uh, this is $1.96 per pound for ground beef. It was a really great deal. I got three. I actually bought four packs. I used one a night to make tacos. I, it's three pounds. I used the entire thing to make tacos because I can freeze, uh, burritos when I do that. Or freeze the taco meat already cooked. It works, too. Okay, so this here, this is turkey, smoked turkey necks. Anything smoked... Like that, you can use in the beans. It makes it really good. So I went ahead and got that because I couldn't find anything else to put in there. See that pack of bottom round steak? We can use that for like, I don't know, stir fry or anything. And this is a great deal. three fifty three per pound. Great deal for around here. I don't know if that's everywhere because that's really high actually, you know, in general. I normally like to pay two something. This, this one is unthawed, right? This one's frozen. Two different freezers. That's just how it is. I have, a, I have two deep freezes, one smaller, one's bigger, and then two regular refrigerators with freezers in them. And they just freeze differently, I guess. See, this is like kind of unthawed too, but the one underneath is frozen. Ah, it is what it is. But anyway, this was um, $4.99 for, well, it says three, almost four pounds, 3.87 pounds. The rest of these, I always get one because I can cut it up and make breakfast burritos or whatever as ham. But, um, or cook like, you know, beans with the two. But, um, this, this was the only one that was a good deal. The rest of them were $11 for the same size. So they have marked that way, way up. I, I'm lucky to have found that one. These two are just chicken. This was like less than a dollar. It was 96 cents a pound. Great deal. So I got that. I got two packs of legs. For the kids, they like those. 
two packs of uh, wake up pork chops. Really good deal. It's two ninety five, and then the other one was three eleven. That was a good deal on that. <clears throat> These pork chops are four fifty four. So what's the price? One twenty five per pound. That's a pretty good deal, I think. So I got both packs of those. I got three packs of these uh, country style ribs, right? Country style ribs. They were dollar eighty eight a pound, so I bought three packs because I hardly see that price on the. I bought ice cream, cookie dough. I have to go around the table because I just can't reach some of it. So I bought some uh, broccoli florets for salads and stuff because you know it was just a whim. I got cabbage because I make like stir fry and stuff. A whole bunch of lunch meats. There's like four packs here. You can stick them in the freezer and uh, freeze them. So I pull one out at a time, stick the other in the freezer, and pull it out when I need it. I bought milk, of course, and I had another half gallon. And this, cookies, I had already had put in a jar. So I pulled them out anyway. I don't even know why. These are hot dogs. They were like $2 for that big, big pack. That's three pounds for $2. That was a good deal. This is just sour cream. Biscuits to go with the gravy. I have gravy here somewhere. Right there. I have more biscuits. Don't worry. I just couldn't find them in the refrigerator. And then... I got, oh, these chicken bullions were 24 cubes for, I don't know, a dollar or something. It was a really great deal because you can make your own chicken broth. Or it makes everything taste better, too. So I bought three packs of butter, just because, you know, always about three or four. Um, two packs of mushrooms because they look good and they were on sale. Um, oil and all these cans. Now, see, that's not a lot of canned food. I usually buy way more, but I couldn't because they were out. So I was like, all right. Craft singles to go for your lunch meat. It should be over here. And then gravy packets. Because, you know, you can make all kinds of stuff with brown gravy, white gravy, ranch, taco season. Now I have more taco seasons, more ranch. I just don't have it right, right here. I always buy Dale's. It's a good deal. I mean, it's just good for beef flavored stuff. And toilet paper. Coffee. Yeah, we've already did that. So, <clears throat> that's about it. But, um, we feel ready and prepared and all that. But the, um... Problem is, not that big a deal. We have, we might have a surgery coming up. See, here's where I put all the bags. Because I didn't even take them out of the bags. I just threw them in the freezer. I was tired that day. It's like an hour to our nearest grocery store. And, um... There you go, focus. I was an hour to our nearest grocery store. So, by the time I get home, I just want to throw all the freezer. Oh, cook the simplest dinner. Like, the first day I cooked some of these, um... Chicken strips and french fries. And, um go to sleep and then I you know then I deal with it the next day sometimes I accidentally put stuff in the freezer that don't belong but anyway point of it is I'm ready for it but like I think we're having a surgery coming up so we're gonna have to be at the hospital which is not cool because of the coronavirus we're gonna I mean we have a baby on a ventilator it's a bad idea to be out in public right now but anyway I stayed ahead of the somehow I stayed ahead of the whole shopping game and barely made it in the stores, I guess, a day before it all went crazy. Except for Walmart, which is fine because I barely buy anything at Walmart anyway. And I just kind of got whatever I felt like. Except for I wanted more canned vegetables. But it's okay. We have these. And I could also get fresh. I really need to grow a garden. But <clears throat> thank you so much for watching. And, um, oh, I've also bought six packs of eggs. I think I already said that, though. But uh, sugar, I forgot about that. Thank you so much for watching, and I definitely think you should stay safe as you can. Stay inside. Don't go out unless you have to. Hope you got everything you needed. Goodbye. Anyway, that's the end of the grocery haul. It's about, for real, that usually, like, the amount of groceries will last us a month. And that's what it probably will do. Maybe even longer. But we always, always get this. This is just every month. We try to get, like, if they're on sale, you get a whole bunch of it. You don't have to buy it next month. You know what I'm saying? Or, um, if it doesn't on sale, just buy a little bit of it to get through the month. You know, you only need, like, three or four packs to get through the month. But whatever's on sale, I, I, I kind of get a lot of it. Like, I wanted to buy coffee for a few months or chicken or sausage. But the vegetables I'll need again, all that. Also, I have to go to the store again in probably two weeks just to kind of like get fresh vegetables and fruit. There's some fresh stuff in the fridge too that I pull out because we had already opened it and used it for salad and stuff. So I just let, only pulled out the unopened packages. 
Oh, I forgot about this um, five pound bag of chicken tenders and my red beans. Oh, and my sugar. But anyway, it's on the table. Oh, and my smoked sausage. I forgot so many things. A smoked sausage is not a sale, but it goes with red beans sometimes. And I have rice. I bought a new pack of rice, but I already put it in the container, so I didn't bring it out. Um, I bought stuff to make pancakes, because that's cheap. Why not? So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Bye.